This will be a short video where we make some simplifications to the differential form of the continuity equation. Let's start with our general continuity equation. We have that the partial derivative of density with respect to time plus the divergence of density times the velocity vector equals zero. This is a general formulation that should apply to any fluid scenario. However, when we take standard engineering conditions in fluids, we typically make some assumptions or simplifications. As an example, let's look at steady flow. Steady flow is an assumption that requires that no fluid properties change with respect to time. That means that the derivative of any fluid property with respect to time should be equal to zero. Looking at our continuity equation, this tells us that the derivative of density with respect to time is zero. Now, that means that we can simplify our continuity equation as follows. We will have that the divergence of the density times the velocity field is equal to zero. Another simplification, which will be much more common for this course, is incompressible flow. Now, we've already mentioned many times in this class that most liquids will be treated as incompressible in this class. And in order for a flow to be incompressible, then we have to assume that any change in density is equal to zero. That means that density does not change. Now let's write down our continuity equation. If density does not change in incompressible flow, then this term, the rate of change of density with respect to time, should be equal to zero. Furthermore, the density term inside the divergence can be treated as a constant if it doesn't change. If this density term can be treated as a constant, that means that we can take it out of the divergence term. Now, of course, a fluid cannot have a density of zero. So for this equation to be satisfied, we can cancel out the density and we will get that the divergence of the velocity field equals zero. This is also sometimes written as divergence V equals zero. Now, I think this was an important simplification because whenever we deal with liquids, we tend to make the assumption that the liquid is an incompressible fluid, which means that this is actually everything you need from the continuity equation in order to solve for that fluid. Now, what does this mean from a mathematical point of view? We know that mathematically, the divergence of a velocity vector which is also equal to del dot v is equal to the partial change of the x component of the velocity with respect to x plus the partial change of the y component of the velocity with respect to y plus the partial change of the z component of the velocity with respect to z. Following the continuity equation for incompressible flow, all of this should be equal to zero. Now this is actually pretty interesting. Because this means that if we know the velocity vector, that we can determine if our flow is incompressible or not. Notice that there is no density term in this expression. So all we need is the velocity vector in order to figure out if our flow is incompressible.